In this two minute video, we're going to turn our attention to a feature which has been introduced in Wi-Fi 6. It's called BSS Color, and it's been introduced to improve the efficiency and operation of Wi-Fi networks, particularly where we find multiple access points operating in close proximity, be that in an office complex, be that in a shopping mall, a sports stadium, etc. Now, before we look specifically at what we mean by BSS Color, it's important to first of all just recap on the different channel allocations. And here we can see on the diagram we're going to initially focus on the 2.4 GHz ISM band. Now here we can see that we will have different channels allocated to Wi-Fi. In this case, channels which are 20 MHz wide. Therefore, across the entire 2.4 GHz area, we can see that we can have a total of 14 different channels. However, what's important is that access points which are next to each other should be operating on a different channel, a channel which is not overlapping. And as such, realistically, the channels that we will typically find will be limited to channel 1, channel 6 and channel 11. Outside of the USA, however, there are an additional channel available. So we may have the situation where channel 1, channel 5, 9 and 13 are used. However, it generally is more common to find 1, 6 and 11 in most deployments. Now before we look specifically at BSS Color, we should also just recap on the way that a Wi-Fi device will access the medium. Wi-Fi uses a technique called carrier sensing collision avoidance, which means that either the station or the access point will sense the wireless medium and determine whether it is busy or not. In other words, they will apply a threshold and should the signal level be below the threshold, they will then assume that the wireless medium is free and they can access it. Whereas if the signal is above the threshold, they will consider that another station or access point is transmitting and therefore they should drop back and wait for the medium to become quiet later. BSS Color, however, now starts to look at these thresholds to try and minimize the interference, but generally to improve the overall performance. The reason we say that is as we bring the access points closer together, if they're operating on the same channel, then a station may be picking up interference from either the two access points or potentially stations operating on the same channel, but to potentially different access points operating in different basic service sets. So on the diagram now we can see, we refer to here as the overlapping basic service set, we focused on those three channels, channel 1, channel 6 and channel 11. However, in a multi-access point deployment environment, it will be necessary to reuse those channels again and again. In other words, here on the diagram, we're having to reuse channel 1 in a relatively close proximity. As such, we will typically get overlapping basic service sets. So a station now operating in the overlap region could be sensing the carrier and picking up interference either from other stations or the access point within its basic service set, but equally picking up interference from stations and access points in the neighboring basic service set. Again, both operating here on channel one. Therefore, BSS color adds some additional information. On the diagram, we can see that channel one now also carries the color blue. And this process has been extended for other access points also on channel one using a different color, color green and color red, before eventually returning back to an access point again on channel one, but also on color blue. Now the same principle will work for channel six and channel 11, but I have negated to put them in for this particular video. So how does this actually affect the way that the stations will operate? Well, when a station senses the network and determines that the interference level from uh, a particular access point or a particular frequency is high when they are both on the same color, then it will typically assume that that interference is from either the access point or stations operating on the same basic service set. 
hence it will apply a strong threshold. However, if it detects the carrier medium here and detects they are coming from a station or access point on a different channel, a different colour, green or red, then we will understand that this particular traffic is associated with a different basic service set and therefore we can apply a looser threshold. We will therefore enable the stations to seize the medium whereas historically they will have backed off. Backed off when it was completely unnecessary because the interference was actually to do with traffic on a neighbouring basic service set. Traffic running through a neighbouring access point.